ladies and gentlemen, you know, I've been finding these stories practically every day on the recession. And this came out in the Washington Post, November 17th, 2019. Europe is quietly drifting towards a recession. It might be bad news for us all. Oof, European women are hard on the eyes. Moving on. While almost everyone in Washington is glued to impeachment developments, Europe has been quietly drifting towards a recession. This is bad news for Christine Lagarde, former head of the International Monetary Fund, who is now the president of the European Central Bank, but may also be bad news for the rest of us. By the usual indicators, which define a recession as two consecutive quarters of a shrinking economy, Europe is almost there. Growth of the Eurozone gross domestic product was a meager 0.2% in the third quarter. Growth for Germany Europe's largest economy was only 0.1%. Employment growth for the Eurozone, the 19 countries using Euro, was only 0.1%. No one can want this. The economics are brutal. Higher unemployment, lower confidence, and squeezed profits. The politics are worse, greater distrust of government, more nationalism, including more suspicion of immigrants, and rising alienation. But what can be done, if anything? Note that the ECB is European, um, Europe's equivalent of the Federal Reserve, the tenure of Lagarde predecessor, Mario Draghi, who ran the ECB from November 2011 until last month, is widely considered a success because his policies prevented the euro from being abandoned by weaker countries. I remember when they moved to the euro. And they were talking about countries like Greece and Portugal or Portugal. Um, their exit from the eurozone might have shattered the whole scheme. This was always a plausible threat if euro denominated debts could not be repaid. So, ladies and gentlemen, things are not looking good globally, I can tell you that much. The United States and Europe are in similar economic positions. In each, recovery is faltering. The basic problems on both sides of the Atlantic is that the economies have become dependent on government-created stimulus policies. Whether low interest rates supplied by central banks or huge budget deficits created by politicians rather than being able to generate spontaneous internal growth. The trouble with this approach is that the government supplied stimulus programs are losing their punch in both the United States and Europe. Low interest rates are proving less and less effective in expanded GDP and employment. Whatever the initial effect of low interest rates and the EQ programs of bonding, bond buying, the law of diminishing returns seem to have set in. The benefits seem to be fading. No, right now, the U.S., the media, which is notorious for 
usurping everybody's attention to one issue like the impeachment. So people aren't even paying attention to the recession and they're not even talking about it in the news. They're doing the usual thing. Oh, there's no recession coming. You know, this ain't real. I, I've seen them do this before. I saw them do this in um, 2007. They were denying there was a recession all the way up into the time where they couldn't deny it anymore. And it looks like they're doing the same thing in this case as well. Growth in the euro area has slowed since the beginning of 2018 and the risk of a recession is growing. Yet the ECB has barely any space left for monetary stimulus. What are the alternatives? The most obvious are what economists call fiscal policies, government spending, taxes, deficits, and surpluses. Budget deficits are what matters here. Well, I tell you what, at least over in the European countries, they are talking about this a lot more. Over here, not so much. They're not talking about it as much. And this is why so many people are going to be caught off guard and whining about not seeing this coming because they're going to do what we've seen them do in the past. They're going to deny this is happening, keep denying it, keep denying it, keep denying it. And then it, when it happens, then they'll make an announcement about it and then it will fade away. Because one thing about this government, if things don't reflect good on them, they will just start acting like either it's not happening when it is or they'll try to ignore it altogether and not talk about it. I remember during the um, recession, there were a lot of people unemployed and could not get jobs. And that's when the company, the country heavily had policies in place on jobs where if you had bad credit, you couldn't get a job, which is stupid. How are you supposed to clear up your credit if you don't have a job, these people and their thinking is just so fucked up. It's not even funny. And it's not those people with bad credit that's going to rip off your company. You know who's ripping off your company? Them big high power CEOs and those executives that got access to company money in the company car, in the company credit card. Those are the people that are ripping you off. It's not some little guy in some remedial position with bad credit. They're not the ones ripping off your company. But you know, you know how this country is. They always want to figure out a way to practice some form of discrimination. So obviously they're noticing the global economy is slowing down. And I've been telling you that for quite some time, it is slowing down. And it's only going to get worse. They are still projecting that we will be in a recession in the first quarter of 2020. And we are closer than ever to 2020 right now. So y'all... The only thing we can do is try to do our best to make it through. But for us, every day in America is like a recession. <laughs> so I think we'll be okay. But these overly privileged people that are used to having every damn thing handed to them, they are going to be the ones in big trouble. Many of them did not even bounce back from the last recession from 2017, 2018, they didn't even bounce back from that. They are not even um, prepared for what's to come. And they already said this one is going to be worse than any one we ever seen before. So these folks are going to be falling apart. Suicides will probably go through the roof. That's what happened the last recession. Suicides were flying all over the place. 
I mean, these folks don't even have confidence that these things will pass. They always do. This country just never did well economically. That's why you keep having these recessions. If you go back and look in the history, they were having these recessions, y'all, back in the 16 and 1700s. They never could manage money. This is just a clear sign that these folks in charge never, ever could manage money. They've always been bad with managing money. And that's why economically they keep ending up in these recessions like every 10 years, there's a new recession. But please tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.